This is my 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. It is a nearly perfect car as far as daily drivers go, but I'm officially selling it, and here's why. So call me crazy, but I'm selling my absolute safety blanket of a daily driver. My daily for the last two years has been a 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. It has been a great car to me. It's a lot of fun, very practical. With the hatch, of course, you can fit lots in the back. You can fit four people comfortably. It's peppy, you know, not the fastest car in the world, but it's fun to drive. Six speed manual transmission and a good one at that. In two years time, I have put 31,405 miles on this car, all of which have been completely problem free. It drives surprisingly well in the snow, which is very important for, for those central Ohio winters when there can be quite a bit of snow and it's cold for like six months straight. Yeah, it's well built, it's quiet, it's smooth riding, super reliable, fun, practical, good gas mileage, so eco economical, not too expensive to buy, very cheap to own, and it's different. Everyone's got a Civic sedan, and a lot of people have the Civic Coupe, but not many people have the, the Civic Hatchback. So why get rid of this car that checks every single box in the book for a daily driver? Well, here's why. This is my 2007 BMW 530XI wagon, the E61 generation. This is what's stepping in to replace my 2017 Honda Civic Hatchback Sport as my new daily driver. I'm officially that car enthusiast that absolutely loves wagons, or as my fiance calls them, dad wagons, which is why I put my dog in the back seat to emphasize the dad aspect, because I don't yet have kids. Anyway, enough about that. Back to the car. Now I know what you're thinking. Hey guy, you're an idiot. You bought a car that's 10 years older than your Honda Civic and 100% more German, and you're going to use it as your daily driver? Yes, I am. And that's because there's one additional trait that this car possesses other than the fact that it's a wagon that made me buy it. That's right. I have found the unicorn of all car enthusiast vehicles. A six-speed manual, four-wheel drive, station wagon built by one of the best most enthusiast driven automotive companies in the world bmw so knowing what you know now do you still think i'm crazy so here we are now driving in my 2007 bmw 530xi so let me tell you a little bit of backstory i bought this thing on auto trader it was one of two like it with like wagon four-wheel drive six-speed manual in the entire country. It was in New Jersey. So I jumped on a plane, flew out to New Jersey, checked the thing out, gave it a test drive, was very impressed. But that's just the thing about Germans. They place so much emphasis on making sure that the car drives well, that even after 11, almost 12 years of this car being a car and 125,000 miles, well, 125 when I bought it, it now has almost 128,000 miles. The car still drives like it's brand new. The steering is still crisp, the engine still runs like a top, the brakes still have really good bite. Of course, brakes are a wear item, so, but I mean, it just all feels great. It shifts really well. Now, of course, the downside is, and the reason that the Germans all get their reputation, is they tend to push the envelope with technology. They tend to be the groundbreakers for a lot of stuff, which is why they're sort of known to be problematic at times. And it's because that new technology, which hasn't been fully vetted out in the industry for years and years, does tend to have problems sometimes. Fortunately, however, this car is not one of those cars. This has BMW's N52 engine in it, which is their three liter straight six. It's naturally aspirated, it's port injected, so you don't have um, any of the turbo problems. The, the 
many turbo problems that the newer engines have. You don't have any of the direct injected problems, um, such as high pressure pumps failing, high pressure injectors failing. You don't have the carbon buildup problem. So this, this engine is known to be a, a robust engine. And at this time, you know, basically this, this basic engine package had been around for quite a while at the time that this car came out. So they had sort of worked out any of the, the kinks that they would have had with it. The issues that this engine is known to have, of course, is, is just regular BMW stuff. Um, which, you know, okay, cool. You've got some, some leaky gaskets here and there that need to be replaced. Maybe valve cover gaskets or uh, oil filter housing gasket. Fine, big whoop. I'll replace some gaskets. So my hope is that with just keeping up on maintenance with this car, which it seems to have been throughout most of its lifetime, and I will certainly do so when I own this car. Uh, my hope is that it will continue to be a, a very good and reliable car. Will it be as reliable as my Civic was? Almost certainly not, but that's okay. I mean, <laughs> I bought a decade plus old German, and I'm gonna daily drive the thing and put 70 80 miles on it every day it's gonna have some problems it's gonna be finicky but that's that's why I bought it I'm a car guy I like tinkering with stuff so why this and not the Civic well the Civic was a great car I love driving it but in the end it just wasn't German enough I think maybe I have a problem I like the finicky German cars a lot of people roll their eyes on the Germans they don't get it. They've never spent, well, maybe they haven't spent a lot of time around German cars. Or maybe they've spent too much time around the wrong German cars. Some of them can totally rub you the wrong way. I mean, just sitting down in this car puts this big grin onto my face. Plus, this thing's a total dad wagon. What's not to love about a dad wagon? So there you have it. My 2007 BMW 530xi, the successor to my Honda Civic Hatchback Sport. If you're interested in learning more about this car, please hit that subscribe button. I bought this car knowing that it had several minor issues, so I plan to make some videos in the future about the fixing of those issues, along with any other trials and tribulations I've been having along the way. Thank you so much for tuning in to Fun Ahead TV.